Howdy folks, I'm an unwieldy, undulating umbrella, unbalancing, uncouth unicycles. I'm Amber. And here's some more uncouth unicycles for us to unbalance, because apparently we're unhinged, like <laughs> Bernard the Unhinged. That one was brought to you today by Amber, so thank you Amber for our tongue twister. Alright folks, our first letter on this Saturday morning special is titled, Am I a Jerk for Calling My Brother a Creepy Jerk? Highly censored. My wife, Leela, is currently 32 weeks pregnant with our first child. Leela has been maintaining her active lifestyle throughout her pregnancy, including her regular workouts at the gym. She has taken all the necessary precautions to ensure the safety of herself and our baby, with the full support and knowledge of her doctor. A few weeks ago, my brother Dan joined the same gym as Leela. The first time he noticed her, he approached her during her workout and began bombarding her with invasive questions. He asked her things like, does your husband know that you're working out like this? Or did you know your baby will be born with severe deformations? Or do you not care about your health? Layla initially tried to handle it politely, but eventually her friend, her workout partner, stepped in and told Dan to just go away. Since the incident, we have not spoken to Dan. I assumed that his disrespectful behavior was a one-time occurrence driven by ignorance. Yesterday was my sister's birthday dinner. Most of our extended family was present. And at first, everything seemed to be going alright. Late into the evening, Dan approached Layla and offered her a glass of wine. She politely declined, but he kept pushing it. He said things like, come on, just a little won't hurt, or it's not as if you care about your health anyways, or You've already broken all of the rules of pregnancy. You don't care. The entire time, Layla was smiling and being polite, but saying no. I got tired of Dan not listening, so I told him to leave her alone and offer his wine to someone who wants a drink. Dan seemed very angry and started getting angry and berating her in front of everyone for working out while pregnant. He said, if the bee wants to kill her baby by lifting weights, a drink won't harm anyone. I told him that he was acting like a creepy jerk and that he needed to simply go away. Everyone was silent and Leela and I quickly left. My sister texted me the next morning and told me that I shouldn't have gotten angry like that in front of everyone. She says that I overreacted to a drunk man rambling. I think that I should have handled the situation with a bit more class. All right, folks, what do you think? Jerk? Not the jerk? Not the jerk. It is really disgusting how when people become pregnant, their bodies are treated as no longer their own, and suddenly everyone is a medical expert. Yeah, everyone's yeah. an expert on pregnancy the moment you become pregnant, except for you. Yeah, this guy has no medical training, is not part of your medical team, and is just like, I am now suddenly an expert in pregnancy because I have opinions and they are more important than actual facts. Yeah, and my big problem here is that I think that OP should have actually stepped in after the gym incident. Yeah, exactly. OP needed to talk to his brother, make sure that this wasn't going to become a big deal. I know he said, oh, well, I think this was a one-time thing. Clearly, he cares a lot, right? And this wasn't a one-time thing. He's not a medical professional. He doesn't get to make medical decisions for your wife. He's very egotistical. Yeah, well, he's, he's the expert, and he's trying to inflict his misguided beliefs on your wife and make her conform to his will like she doesn't she's not allowed to have any autonomy she's not allowed to do anything for herself she just has to sit and lie in bed all the time because otherwise you know who knows what will happen yeah exactly let me know what you folks think jerk or not the jerk and also does he deserve the centrifuge yeah brother definitely deserves the centrifuge <laughs> that's what i mean the brother of course <laughs> anyhow take care and good luck and Quantum Dream Queen says, not a jerk, actually not enough of a jerk. I would have lost it. That's your wife and your child. You are supposed to protect them. Good for you for standing up to your brother. Your sister is out of line too. Well, yeah. All I can figure is that the rest of the family actually has a problem with how her she's exercising and that's why they haven't said anything. Or they're just the people who dismiss men's behavior. Oh, he's just drunk. If he is rude when he's drunk, it's his responsibility not to get drunk. Like you don't get to treat other people like garbage because you've had a few drinks. Yeah. And Major Zucchini 5315 says, my thoughts exactly. He called OP's wife a B and OP was wrong to react. No. And Massive Stop 330 says, 
I am also 32 weeks pregnant. Your wife has more resistance than I do because I would have verbally torn your brother apart. Now I don't have the energy to go to the gym or the clearance from my doctor, but if you are having a healthy, complication-free pregnancy, you can pretty much continue normal workouts. Did your brother go to medical school? Have any midwife training? Not the jerk. Tell your brother to shut his mouth and take his opinions where the sun don't shine. <laughs> All right, folks, our next letter on this Saturday morning special is titled, Am I a Jerk for Backing Out of Paying for My Sister's Wedding Dress Over a Joke That She Made? And this one's a little bit of an older post. We'll see if it aged like fine wine or vinegar. I had an incident on my wedding day back in 2017 where my former fiancé abandoned me and ran away with his pregnant mistress. That image, those details are forever engraved on my mind, and I will never forget how I felt that day. It was a turning point in my life. My family has always been there for me, so I kept them close. My younger sister is currently engaged and her wedding will be in a few months. She is struggling with money, so I decided to help her and her fiance pay for the wedding dress. This allowed her to be able to buy her dream wedding gown that cost $7,000. It's a lot for a dress, but she literally cried because she wanted it. This happened a few days before we agreed to go buy the dress. We were eating dinner at my parents' home and my cousin and aunt were there. My aunt was asking my sister about the wedding and my sister said that everything was going according to plan and then casually left and said, let's just hope that he won't run away with a pregnant mistress or something like that on our wedding day. I was blown away completely. She laughed and the aunt laughed as if it was a joke. She was basically mocking what happened to me in my wedding. It happened so fast that I got up and I started screaming at her that she was an idiot, but my parents asked me to take it easy and said that it was a joke, and she didn't think that I would react so intensely. My aunt remained seated, and my cousin asked me to calm down and grab a drink of water, but I grabbed my stuff as I was getting ready. I told my sister that she was getting zero dollars for her dream wedding dress and then I walked out. I heard a louder commotion as I walked and my dad and cousin followed me outside trying to talk but I asked to be left alone. My dad and my cousin spoke to me saying that I was too harsh on my sister over a joke and said that I know she has a dark sense of humor. They said that she's been crying after I decided to back out of helping her and this would ruin her wedding. They want me to reconsider the decision since it might damage my relationship with my sister, but I refuse. Did I overreact? Info, it's my aunt that would be usually bringing up what happened from time to time and saying stuff like, if what happened didn't happen to you, you would have at least two kids by now. Or, do you know what day it is? Your wedding anniversary. It's harsh, but she stopped doing it and maybe my sister is being influenced by her but still, it hurt the same and more coming from my own sister. All right, folks, what do you think? Not the jerk. It was kind of you to offer, but you're well within your right to rescind that when your sister just said something so insensitive. I think a dark sense of humor is one thing, but if you're going that route, it should be about your own situation. So if OP had made a quip about this, that would have been one thing because she was the one affected by it. Yeah. The problem is the sister is not the one who was traumatized by this moment. So for her to bring up traumatic memories is just cruel. Yeah. Well, the sister was kind of punching down here, mm -hmm. right? The sister was turning what happened into OP into a joke. And this is clearly something that OP isn't over. And you can't make jokes about things that people are sensitive about. If someone is sensitive about something, then you can't make a joke about it. They're insecure about those types of things and it will end up hurting and not be a joke. Well, and doubly so if someone has trauma around yeah. said thing. So, you know, this was not a good memory for OP. She probably has a lot of psychological trauma from being abandoned at the altar on her wedding day. And yeah. so... So this wasn't a joke, and the only people who found it funny were the people who weren't traumatized by mm -hmm. it. And I really think this was a really unfortunate thing to happen. I know the sister probably wasn't meaning it as a serious thing, but she really 
should have picked her words more wisely here. If the aunt has kind of like tried to make this into some big family joke, it's time that the family learns they can't keep doing this. It may be an expensive lesson for the sister to learn, but she shouldn't be able to just get away with saying what she wants. Yeah. And OP, you're not ruining her wedding. The wedding is still going to be able to happen. Mm -hmm. Still, They're still going to be able to get married. She's not just not going to be able to get married in the one dress that she wants. And she made the choice to make a tasteless joke. So it's not incumbent on you that you just preserve her wedding vision at all costs. Yeah. I do hope that somehow everyone makes amends here and that everyone kind of comes to terms with and tries to make it up to OP because it's clear that they don't respect her feelings on what happened in this wedding and so hopefully they come around and realize that maybe we shouldn't joke about this. So let me know what you folks think. Anyhow, take care and good luck. And Al Franek says, this is how she is with her dark sense of humor. Well, this is how I am with her dark sense of humor. Serious lack of self-awareness and simple respect from her sister. Charged remarks come with charged consequences, not the jerk. Know anything 4440 says, I really like this. This is how she is and this is how I am. People tend to make more excuses for the squeakier wheel. And Exciting Tabletop says, yep, her sister is entitled to her sense of humor. It just happens to be very expensive. And OP is entitled to her sense of humor, and OP's sense of humor is saving her $7,000. I mean, that would make me laugh. Yeah, well, I think that's a good point. People sometimes act like anytime you tell someone not to say something or there's any consequences for their action, you're silencing them. The sister is still allowed to make all the dark humor jokes she wants to. There just may be consequences for doing it. Yeah, exactly. And Previous Owl 2559 says, Let's all joke about someone's trauma and then get mad at them when they react exactly how you would expect someone with trauma to act. Not the jerk. Our next letter is titled, Am I a jerk for disposing my pads in my boyfriend's bathroom? That's right, it's another one of these stories, folks. How many boyfriends are there out there who dislike women disposing of their pads in bathrooms? Let's find out. My boyfriend is a 23-year-old male, and I'm an 18-year-old female, and we've been together for about three months, and this is the first time that I spent the night over at his flat while I was on my period. Since yesterday, I've been changing my pads in his bathroom and each time I wrap the used pads in a plastic wrapper and place them in the trash can. The trash can has a lid and there's a plastic garbage bag in there. So the pad was touching nothing but the trash that was already inside. I genuinely didn't think that this was a big deal until my boyfriend took out the trash this morning and noticed the plastic wrappers in the bag. Horrible <laughs> horrors. He knew they were the packaging for my pads because he had seen them before and quite outraged, he asked whether my used pads were also in that bag. I told him yes and he dropped the bag, calling me disgusting <laughs> and telling me to take the trash out myself. I did, but then I asked him where I should put my pads, and he told me that I could have just kept them in my purse until I got home. Ew. I love how he's like, this is too disgusting for this thing that's made for trash, but put those in your purse. I'm staying at his place for three nights because we both have some time off, and I wasn't going to keep my used pad in my bag for days on end. Imagine the smell. Yeah. He stated that he didn't want my blood all over his trash. <laughs> I just, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes you just can't even make this stuff up, right? And that I should have found another way of disposing of my pads. I don't think that my attempt of an explanation of why my period blood isn't disgusting as he thinks got through to him, and he's quite set on his opinion. I think that it was a bit childish because I don't understand how an adult straight man can be so disgusted by period blood. But when I texted my brother, a 19 year old male, about it, he sided with my boyfriend? <laughs> to the centrifuge! Yeah. I've been outnumbered. I want to see whether other people also believe what I did was the jerk move. Alright folks, what do you think? Jerk or not the jerk? Not the jerk. Throw the whole boyfriend in the centrifuge and the brother too. You know, I just don't understand how they could be this offended by literal trash in a right. literal trash can. Right, it's not like he's preserving this bag of trash. It's literally going to go in the landfill with all the other trash. Yeah. 
Now, I think that the boyfriend is certainly overreacting, and I'm hoping that by now he's an ex-boyfriend because mm-hmm. he really does... The OP, you don't deserve this kind of behavior, and if he's this bad now, then he might be as this bad later, right? And maybe even worse. Are you going to have to go outside and throw your pad in a neighbor's trash every time you have to change your pad? It's just ridiculous that he is like, oh, you should just put it in your purse. I just don't, I don't even know what's going through his head here. It just... Yeah. I think that this is a unreasonable request. The trash can is meant for trash. There's nothing that's going to harm his already disposed tissues when you put your pads in there. So I don't understand what his issue is. This is a very unreasonable request. So no OP, you are not the jerk. But let me know what you folks think. Anyhow, take care and good luck. And spoiler alert, dude, like if you really do not like period blood, just don't date people who menstruate. Thread was locked because of excessive rule violations. And OP replies to that. I'll be honest, I did this post hoping that someone would back me up on this, but I didn't expect to have hundreds of people telling me to break up with my boyfriend. It's a bit overwhelming, so I hope it's okay that I'm not replying as much as I would like to. However, I think that you'll be pleased to hear that I've cut my visit short and I've gone home for the time being. No breakup yet. I couldn't talk to him about it yet, but I've taken the comments to heart, and if I don't get some kind of explanation and or apology in the future, I'll have to reconsider whether maintaining this relationship is actually worth it. Lots of love to anyone who offered some advice. So that's actually a really good positive outcome. Mm-hmm. All right, folks, it is tea time. Grab your beverages of choice. I've got some coffee on this Saturday morning, and Amber, she's got a coffee-related joke. No, it's not. How do you throw a party in space? You know, you throw a party in space by using a space bar. You could. You could. That's a good one. But you plan it. Oh, you plan it? (laughs) I'm afraid of the gravity of that choice. (laughs) It almost worked. It almost worked. All right, folks, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Saturday. As you can see, I have updated the live stream date correctly now. And if you're confused by the centrifuge, you should probably watch our live stream video (laughs) yesterday. It's all in there. Yeah. The centrifuge comments are directly related to the live stream. Uh, Amber, we need some kind of moral advice and or guidance. And please, please have it a warning on some feminine products. Warning. Small-minded people may be offended by you. If this is the case, just throw the whole person out. I guess that's a moral. Thanks so much for watching, and we will see you all tomorrow. Bye.